James Allison has opened up more regarding the W15's development, and that glimpse into the 2024 machinery shows how close Mercedes are to bounce back to winning ways in the upcoming campaign. But with a short span of just three months being fully utilized to develop a new car from the ground up, can Mercedes in reality deliver on their championship promises for 2024? More importantly, how will the W15 fare over its competitors? And at the time, will Lewis and George have that fire to push for a championship battle? The transition from rate cars to ground effect cars were poorly interpreted by the Silver Arrows, adapting the Zero Pods expecting heavier returns in terms of raw performance advantage. Back-to-back -back disappointing campaigns have piled the pressure on Mercedes for 2024, especially on the technical team and on the technical director himself. The Gladiator returning to his old post as technical director may have just taken on the most difficult job in Formula 1 currently, reviving Mercedes' dominance. But Allison is confident in his engineers, as he believes tweaking the process of designing and developing the car back at Brackley will be just enough to change the inherited performance of the W15 from day one. When elaborating on this matter, the technical director went on to say, to the mind of a designer or a performance person in F1, concept is actually nothing to do with the car, he told Sky Sports F1. It's about a process by which you decide what good looks like and what bad looks like. It's your methodology for sort of sieving out all the many, many things you might put on the car and finding only the ones that you really think are going to add lap time, it's method. The car itself is just the output of that method. Both the W13 and the W14 were running on flawed concepts, according to fans and the team themselves. But perception of the word concept was different between these two parties. While fans pointed out the lack of side pods to be the main flaw within the car's concept, Mercedes, especially Allison, suggests otherwise. On the same interview, Allison elaborated on what the change of concepts mean for the W15. As he went on to say, when he talked to us about concept, we're hearing, what, you think our wind tunnel waiting system wasn't right, and we've changed that, or our way of meshing in CFD was wrong, and we've changed the concept of that. That's what concept means to us, and the car just pops out at the far side of that when we apply that process and that concept. The W15 suiting up a new concept has been an open secret. This new concept, the new aerodynamic philosophy, is set to up Mercedes' game in 2024. With the team gathering data for the past two seasons, and also being able to access little information from their successful customer teams as well, the latest reveal from James Allison points towards one major change Mercedes needs to make for 2024, to be in the competitive order. This is the main reason behind the previous two cars not working, previous upgrades not working at all, the parameters used to design the car itself. We had a preview of this during the 2023 launch season, where Mercedes made last minute changes and staff firings, but that was just eliminating a branch from a mistake tree. The roots are what James Allison is focusing on for the W15 and 2024. Starting from scratch allows for those mistakes to be rewritten in the proper path, allows mistakes to be found and fixed, the most basic and fundamental ones. When clearing up on this matter, Allison added, the last two years have required us to adjust our approach and our methodology, our concept, if you will, and as a result of that, the hardware that pops out the far side of that will necessarily be different hardware because it's defined by different decisions and different weightings of what's important and what isn't. You get all excited by the end result, but actually our fate is made by the approach. This positive news from Allison brings a lot of hope to Mercedes fans for the first time in two years, as the Silver Arrows now clearly know which direction to follow for 2024, unlike 2023 and 2022. In the previous two generations, Mike Elliott followed a certain direction, hoping for unprecedented returns, but was led to failure by the standards Mercedes has set in the turbo hybrid era. Blame for that failure was put on Mike Elliott and his engineering team, but Allison believes otherwise, as he accepts the Elliott-led side pods did compromise a performance advantage, but it was not the entire flaw behind Mercedes' concept. Adding more into this matter, the Brit went on to say, I don't quite see the world the same way as you guys do. Looking at a side pod and deciding that's a concept, he said. We definitely took a path with our car, and I would say that's from the tip of the nose to the very back of the tail, which was not a competitive one. The most visually notable aspect of that was our side pods, but by no means the definitive factor. 
It was not right from front to back. And that's the thing we have had to learn and have had to deal with. That's taken us longer than we would have liked. But the side pods are maybe emblematic of a team that took a little too long to figure out which way was up, but by no means the distinguishing feature that sealed our fate. Toto Wolff also made the same belief as James Allison in this regard. Speaking on this matter, the Austrian mentioned that he believes his team was conservative, which led to the creation of the W13 and the W14. But he believes the W15 will explore a different space. As he added, I think the regulations a few years ago, we interpreted them in a very conservative way. We've seen other teams doing it differently. So watch this space. I think it's going to be very different in 2024. Regarding the driver's lineup, Mercedes has one of the most competitive duos in the sport currently, and that's a huge plus for the Silver Arrows. But following two dull seasons, can both drivers get to the top with a competitive car? George Russell has to perform at the highest level, as he seems to be a champion in the making. Most doubt is put on the seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton's ability to push the extra mile once more in his career. Having that question on the line, James Allison recently revealed that he has no doubts about Hamilton's ability to be up for the fight ahead. I think you'd struggle to find a driver anywhere in the grid that wasn't motivated, explained Allison. I think that sort of comes with the territory with them. And generally speaking, the more successful the drivers have been, the more sort of inescapable that compulsive need to win is. In Lewis's case, it's just a core part of who he is. So there's no doubt about his motivation to get back to winning ways. But whether or not he can do that will be much more in the hands of the equipment we've given him than in his own hands. He's always had that ability there. Allison also said there is little extra that the team's drivers Hamilton and George Russell can do over the winter to help with development, while work has progressed on the W15 car. However, he adds that once the car is up and running in testing, then the responsibilities for improving it very much falls on their shoulders. Both drivers, their role over the winter is very largely to look after their physical condition. Make sure that they're mentally prepared and just stay in touch with us about our successes and failures as we are going through the hoops of getting the car specified, built, tested and ready for them, he said. So over the winter, it's just getting themselves ready for the new challenge. So following Allison's huge emphasis on the changes in concept the Silver Arrows are making for the W15, do you believe Mercedes has a machinery in the works which has the potential to beat Red Bull in the upcoming season? If yes, who out of George and Lewis will be the man leading the charge towards championship glory? We're very much into your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section down below. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of our future uploads to keep yourselves up to date about the 2024 Formula One season.